Greetings, Second Baptist Church in Battle Creek. My name is Abraham Chienji, and I work as one of the directors for the African Children's Choir in Uganda. When I was eight years old, I had the privilege of being in the third African Children's Choir, and today we are grateful to share with you the wonderful music of the African Children's Choir. In the year 2000, you hosted us in Battle Creek, and it is our hope that our children blessed you. We are delighted to provide with you the time of virtual music, which expresses the culture and gifts of our children. We hope and pray that as you are celebrating family and friends time, you would invite and share others to connect virtually to our page and be part of their experience. Thank you, Pastor Wine and the Second Baptist family for your support to our work and efforts. It is our prayer that you and your ministry in the community will continue to be blessed with resources that you need. We also look forward to the time when you'll be able, we will be able to return to your community in person and that you and us will be able to enjoy this experience of being together again. May the Lord richly bless you. Hello everyone. My name is Timothy and I am the tour leader of the amazing African Children's Choir. As you know, when COVID-19 hit North America, our tour was postponed. But we still wanted to share with you the gift and the hope that the children bring and the music. And this time we're bringing it straight to you in the comfort of your homes. We filmed this concert for you and your audiences, and we pray that it is a blessing to you. This is not how our usual concert runs. It's a little different because there is no physical audience, but wherever you are in your homes, feel free to join us, clap with us, and have fun with us. Now, the children that you are about to watch are from very, very tough situations in Africa. They've been surrounded by severe sickness and deadly and, uh, and poverty. But despite their circumstances, they have refused hope. They have refused to lose hope. These children represent the tremendous potential of Africa. They represent the change that hope and faith can bring. And today, they have traveled halfway around the world to share this joy with you where you are in your homes. So at this moment, let me take the privilege to invite the truly remarkable children of the African Children's Choir.
my name is Pamela. Welcome to our concert. We are so happy to be here. Thank you, Pamela. And my name is Isaac. We are truly excited to be here. Today, we are going to go on a journey through song, through video, and through our music for life story. again. The African Children's Choir began 35 years ago. It was after the brutal reign of Idi Amin, where hundreds of thousands of people had lost their homes and lost all hope. Now, during this time, our president and founder, Ray Burnett, happened to be doing relief work in Uganda. So during one of his journeys, Ray Burnett met this little boy whom he gave a car ride. This boy had been totally orphaned by the war. He had lost both his parents and he never knew where his next meal would come from. But during this car ride, this boy sang with such joy and such dignity, which moved the heart of Ray Burnett very deeply. Ntambula nga sitya Oro musayi ogwaika Natu kula da Echigambo So, Rebanet thought to himself, why not bring a group of African children to the Western world so that everyone can see the great potential and dignity of the African child?
So in the year 1984, the first ever African Children's Choir came to North America. And ever since then, the work of this organization has spread to multiple countries. Today, as I speak, this organization educates children in more than 35 schools back home in Africa. And for the last 35 years, the African Children's Choir has given an education to more than 52,000 children. 52,000. Now, the Bible tells us that the Lord knows us by name. In fact, he knew you before you were formed in your mother's womb. Now, there are dreams and desires and aspirations that God has placed on the hearts of these children. And we would like you to believe with us that of the children standing here on the stage right now that you're watching, there are doctors that are going to find the cure to HIV, AIDS, and cancer. Teachers who are going to bring knowledge and understanding into the hearts of many and the future leaders of Uganda. Now, I would like to introduce African Children's Choir to you by name. Hello, my name is Pamela. I am eight years old. When I grow up, I hope to be an air hostess. Hello, my name is Josephine. I am eight years old. When I grow up, I hope to be a dance teacher. Hello, my name is Bridget. I am seven years old. When I grow up, I want to be a fashion designer. Hello, my name is Catherine. I am eight years old. When I grow up, I hope to be a teacher. Hello, my name is Jackie. I am eight years old. When I grow up, I hope to be a nurse. Hello, my name is Praise. I am seven years old. When I grow up, I hope to be a lawyer. Hello, my name is Jordan. I am eight years old. When I grow up, I hope to be a modern farmer. Hello, my name is Gertrude. I am eight years old. When I grow up, I hope to be a math teacher. Hello, my name is Divine. I am eight years old. When I grow up, I hope to be a chef. Hello. My name is Grace. I am nine years old. When I grow up, I hope to be a lawyer. Hello, my name is Jemima. I am seven years old. When I grow up, I hope to be a teacher. Hello, my name is Margaret. I am nine years old. When I grow up, I hope to be a bank manager. Hello, my name is Joel. I am eight years old. When I grow up, I hope to be a pilot. Hello, my name is Melon. I am eight years old. When I grow up, I hope to be a bank manager. Hello, my name is Marcus. I am eight years old. When I grow up, I hope to be a pilot. Hello, my name is Derek. I am 10 years old. When I grow up, I hope to be an artist. Hello, my name is Jeremiah. I am eight years old. When I grow up, I hope to be a soldier. Hello, my name is Wilson. I am seven years old. When I grow up, I hope to be an artist. Hello, my name is Isaac. I am eight years old. When I grow up, I hope to be a doctor. This is our dream. To any questions that you and I may have, Jesus is the answer. Anyeja kusikurange, yesu, jewa enafa kurange, yesu, enye kwa tere mani, yesu, buli bibi vuna mlendale, yesu, ah, 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 ah. Yes, sir. 
a bad day too.
Nino Genda, Mukwano Guanganeta. Christ alone, my hope is found. He is my light, my strength, my song. This cornerstone, this solid ground. Found to the fear, says drought and storm. What heights of love, what depths of peace. When peace has when striving sees my comforter, my all in all, here in the love of Christ, I'll stand. Christ alone, to come flesh, fullness of God in endless pain. This gift of life, righteousness, scorned by the ones he gave to save. I am here. 
the girl in that video, she symbolizes an angel of mercy. And that is what Music for Life is to us and to so much more. And Music for Life saw us just as we were, dirty, filthy, but they saw the potential. From that experience, you know, it was just, that follows me to date. Um, it's been a journey of having been exposed as a seven-year-old kid to a world that's out there, a world of possibilities, and then coming back and having guaranteed education, which is what now I've picked up with, uh, primary school education, secondary school, and then uh, uni, college, where I did my communications um, studies there, that was in Tangaza, and this was made possible by the sponsorship through the Music for Life. That brought me to where I am today, seated in this chair because I acquired an education and the skills to start me off and give me a slot in this media industry uh, in Kenya. When I joined the choir, I was able to finish primary, high school and university. Around the area where I lived, once the girls are like 13 and 14, they got married off. So school ended for them. Because the choir helped me, I was able to help so many uh, other girls to get to school because the families now saw the importance of going to school and being educated and, you know, just, just because of that one act. Somebody out there, very many people gave and I was sponsored. So was my wife. And right now, I have a team of more than 10 people that I work with in business. And they, have, they also help all their other families. It's a ripple that never stops. Someone looking outside, looking at my young brothers and sisters here, uh, who just sang to you beautifully, might think, oh, poor thing, you know, like, who will they go back to? But when we come back here, home, we have a family, we have someone to call. Later, when we're growing up together, and we're doing life together, you go through high school, you go through college, um, someone sees you, probably like, they'd probably see me on TV, say, hey, congratulations, we're proud of you. That keeps me going. And they're not my, they're not related to me by blood. But they're my family. And it's now our opportunity to bring up our children in a godly way, in a way that they, they understand what society is. Our kids are not going in the choir like we did. They now have uh, parents that have been helped and are going to put them through school. So it's now up to us to lead a life that will allow them to enjoy life and allow us to impact our community. You've been watching the story on the girl on the video who has given out of a generosity. She doesn't have much, but she has still extended a hand and helped someone. This is exactly what Music for Life has done for me. God saw me and wanted me just as I am. God saw me, God wanted me just as I am. God saw me and wanted me just as I am. God saw me and wanted me just as I am.
Hello once again. Let me take this privilege to um, introduce to you Grace Nakalembe, the choir director. Thank you, Timothy. I hope you're enjoying yourselves. And as Timothy has mentioned earlier, him and I were both in the 19th African Children's Choir when we were children. And I remember when I got to be selected to be in the choir, I was living with 11 other children in a three-roomed home of our grandma. It was quite a crowd. But as you have seen in the video, when Music for Life brings children into the choir program, their lives are changed. Our lives were changed. It is a ripple effect that is felt throughout our families and communities. I was once one of the most vulnerable children in Africa. And thanks to Music for Life, I now have a degree in social work. I was raised in a family of four children by a single mother. Now being a single mother, she worked really hard to be able to provide for us. But despite her hard work, she was unable to provide us with the basic needs, with regular meals, an education, or even medication. Life was so hard for us that I can't even find the words to use to explain it. But in the year 2000, a miracle happened. I auditioned into the African Children's Choir and life changed for me. I got an opportunity to travel the world and I learned so much. And at the end of that tour, I returned to Africa ready and determined to work hard and become the most that I could become. Ladies and gentlemen, through the sponsorship of African Children's Choir, today I stand before you with a bachelor's degree in statistics. Now, it has been a long journey, but it has also been one filled with lots of hope and love. And the children that you are watching in your homes right now, they are beginning that same story. And their story will be just as beautiful. Now, it is at this point in our concert where we usually take up an offering. This enables us to continue taking this message of joy and hope all over the world. But this is also how we are able to impact the lives of thousands of children back home in Africa. Now, to provide adequate care and to be able to continue this tour after this crisis passes, we need your help. And we have a goal to ask each of you watching right now to give a gift. This is how you can stand with us to meet an immediate need in our programs, which include providing clean water, medical care, education, mentorship to thousands of children back home in Africa. Now, because of COVID-19, you cannot bring your gift personally to us. But the best way you can give your gift to the African Children's Choir is by visiting our website, which is africanchildrenschoir.com. Let me say that again. It is africanchildrenschoir.com. Uh, we are so grateful for your giving. Now, the Bible speaks of a little boy 2,000 years ago. He gave a few fish and loaves of bread to Jesus. And it's amazing how Jesus miraculously multiplied it. Imagine what the Lord can do with your giving. Once more, I would say thank you so much for watching us. Thank you so much for the love. May the Lord richly bless you. Once again, I invite the African Children's Choir on stage. In our culture, the drum is the single most important instrument. Through the songs of the drum, we celebrate birth, we mourn the dead, we rejoice at weddings, and we celebrate the harvest. We play the drum to bring good luck, or to add off bad luck, to connect with our friends and family, and to call people to action. Boys especially learn to play drums at a very young age. We boys and girls are not different.
and gentlemen, the Khan has made its way halfway around the world into your reach, into your very homes. And on the other side, a child is crying out for help and pleading for an opportunity to escape poverty. How often do you get an opportunity to profoundly impact the life of an individual? Tonight, Music for Life and the African Children's Choir is giving you that opportunity through our sponsorship program. Many years ago, somebody had my call. I was sponsored, I was helped, and I stand here before you today. I'm asking, who do you consider sponsoring a child? To sponsor a child, you offer a gift of $50 per month, and you can do this on our website. So please be sure to visit us at africanchildrensquare.com to sponsor a child. Thank you so much. May the Lord bless you. Isn't it wonderful that all these nice people came to our concert? Oh, yes! We understand that some of you would like to take us into your homes and adopt us. Is that so? Oh, yes! I am very sorry to inform you that we are not up for adoption. We would like to go back home and make it better there. But there are three different ways that you can take us into your homes. Can you please tell the people the three different ways? Cities, DVDs, and T-shirts. Please, do not be home without us. In Africa, dancing is the icing to any ceremony. From births to marriages to sad goodbyes. This dance is called Gaze. It is a traditional children's dance of the Lugba people from the West Nile region in northern Uganda. It is a dance that talks about the children's everyday life. 
They look bad children are young and flexible. They are active and full of energy, just like us. We hope you enjoy it as much as you do. Agate, Zeni Maka, Mama, Masanganda, Kombati. Agate, Zeni Maka, Mama, Masanganda, Kombati.